Hello, I am Nick the Tool and I'm just about to drop off one of these Blue Point carts so I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do a quick video in case some of you haven't seen them. So these are a cracking cart, they're designed as a service cart rather than your everyday toolbox. So they're a lot lighter duty, they're not as heavy in their construction so they're much easier to move around. They come with four turning casters so like a shopping trolley you can really get them exactly where you need them. They also have these rubber bolsters right the way down the full length of each corner and that's all the way around the box and on the back as well. So if you're coming up against the car or you're coming up against stuff in the workshop or the toolboxes, you're less likely to damage them or your toolbox. It's got a big huge area on the top, it's a nice deep footprint so they're very very stable. Some of the smaller carts are quite flimsy in construction and you can find that if you give them a shunt and the weight's not quite right storage in them, you can turn them over. These have got a, almost a square footprint, so they're much more stable. The lid's on gas struts, so it'll hold its own weight. Full length piano hinge for security, so no one's gonna drive that pin out to be able to remove the lid. When you shut the lid, it drives these locks down, which lock the drawers. So if you need to move the toolbox around quickly, you haven't got to worry about locking it. Just drop the lid and the drawers are locked and you know that they're not going to ride open. Gives you a selection of drawers from the nice small ones to the deeper ones below. And these drawers are on idents, which means when you pull the drawer, it won't physically come open until you pull it past about 30 mil. So again, even with the lid up, the drawers are very unlikely to ride out while you're moving stuff around. Now these boxes come with plenty of accessories. So if you notice on this side, you get these little trays which just drop into the side of the toolbox here with ease. So you can put those wherever you want. Each side is mirrored so you can fit the trays or the handles on either side to suit your application. They also come with these which are quite handy. So this just drops, if I can see where the clips are, so they fit nice and easy. Where does it go? I'll take the rubber mat off, I'll be able to see what I'm doing. So you've got three different clips on here. They drop through the side of the holes which are in here. There we go. And then there's a proper cap underneath that locks it into place. It's nice and sturdy, gives you a bit of extra tool storage. There's holes down the side of the box and they run all the way through to the bottom. So things like screwdrivers, you might have a big ratchet or a bar that you want to store. No problem, just drop it down the side. You can see if I turn this round that there's one hole goes all the way through to the floor. So you can get like a 36 inch pry bar in there with no problems. And these holes are on both sides. So you can move those around wherever you need. Now these are designed, as I say, for service. So if you're using uh, the regular tools for servicing your vehicles, every vehicle that comes in, put all your everyday kit in here. If you're working on different ramps away from your toolbox, it's much easier to be working like this under a vehicle than it is going up and down to the floor or backwards and forwards to your toolbox. You're less likely to lose tools and leave them in the car if you've got somewhere where you can have an inventory next to the vehicle. These are available in, off the top of my head, about 12 different colours, so you can get a colour match to your current toolbox. If you want to know more about these, just ask the guy that calls at your garage. You're going bald. <laughs>